Uh, right now, we have the markets up, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is at a brand new all-time high, up more than 400 points. The NASDAQ and S&P, they're right along with it. And these indexes, they've been up for several days now, and I've lost count, actually. And right now, it doesn't look like it's going to stop. And that's great news, but the problems remain in this economy. And in the last 24 hours, we've had some big announcements coming out of the layoff space. And this is a big one, folks. Samsung, they're laying off 30% of their workers worldwide, and that equates to more than 80,000 workers. And PricewaterCooper, they're laying off 1,800 workers here in the U.S. And that's along with Microsoft laying off almost 700 from their Xbox division. So the layoffs, they continue. The factories, they continue closing. The debt continues to soar. But the media, the government, and everyone is exuberant about the market reaching new highs. Now, along with that, we have commodities. Coffee futures, they're at a 52-week high, just shy, a couple dollars shy of a brand new all-time high. Now, commodity futures, they've been trading at the CME for more than 100 years. And that's ultimately going to mean inflation. Your cup of joe is going to be costing more. And we also have gold hitting a brand new all-time high. Over $2,600 an ounce, $2,607. And gold and silver, they're now in super breakout mode. Don't be surprised if we hit $2,750 in gold next week. $34 an ounce in the next few weeks with silver. And these precious metals, they're only beginning. Once the Fed begins cutting rates next week, you're going to see these metals really take off. And we're also going to have to keep an eye on commodities. Once the Fed begins getting in that cut rate cycle, you're going to see the money flow going to commodities. And that's going to be another worry. We're going to be fighting inflation again, most likely next year. On top of what we're fighting now, this quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.